Many of you correctly identified the odd distribution of chlorotic Bermuda grass as localized dry spot. Now let's take a look at the thatched soil system a little more closely to understand how to evaluate the problem and to help identify ways to overcome the localized dry spot. We used the water droplet penetration test to evaluate water repellency of the profile and where in the profile repellency is greatest. To run the test, core samples were collected from the chlorotic and healthy areas and allowed to dry. Small drops of water were placed along the profile and the time required for the droplet to penetrate the soil provides a simple measure of water repellency. As you can see from this table, a soil is judged more water repellent when longer periods of time are needed for the droplet to penetrate the soil. For practical purposes, if it takes more than 10 seconds for the water to penetrate into the thatch or soil, there is some water repellency. If it takes more than 10 minutes, the water repellency is severe. Let's take a look at the water droplet repellency test for a core sample from a good performing area of the fairway. The soil was pretty dry even under the good performing area, so we could only collect a shallow core using the soil probe. Even so, there was sufficient material to determine if the thatch in the mat area or the soil was water repellent. Let's take a look at the video and see how the test was run. Keep an eye on how much time passes after about 20 seconds. At 20 seconds, we compress time so you don't have to wait too long to see the droplets penetrate. The drop that was applied to the soil penetrated immediately. These results indicate that the surface layer is more repellent than the soil below the surface. Because more than one minute was required for penetration of the drop near the surface, the thatch mat area was rated as moderately water repellent. The soil exhibits no water repellency in the good performing area of the fairway. Now let's run the same test with a soil core from the chlorotic poor performing area. Like the good performing area, the soil does not exhibit water repellency. However, as you might expect, the rate of water penetration into the thatch and mat area is slower compared to the good performing area. We have compressed time between 20 seconds and the final frame at just over 11 minutes to make the uh, video a little bit easier to watch. The thatch and mat in the poor performing area of the fairway is severely water repellent. The solution to this problem requires application of a wetting agent to reduce the water repellency of the thatch layer. Once the surface repellency has been eliminated, the soil below can be recharged with water and the turf should recover fairly rapidly.